racing is at the very heart of KTM, and numerous examples illustrate this. At the 200-mile Endurance Grand Prix held at the iconic Mugello circuit in November 2016, KTM entered three lightly modified 1,290 Super Duke cars in the Challenge Pro Twin class, and swept the podium. Jeremy McWilliams finished first, with Chris Fillmore close second, and KTM test rider Hans Mayer in third place. It was an utterly dominant performance, with both McWilliams and Fillmore's fastest laps four seconds a lap faster than the nearest competitor. The race was largely wet, but nothing should be taken away from the talent of the three KTM riders, which clearly played a significant role in the result. All three riders acknowledged that beating fully fared race bikes on one of the fastest MotoGP tracks with the longest straight on the calendar, on an upright, naked motorcycle, was testament to the amazing track prowess of the Super Duke car. At the recent 2017 KTM 1290 Super Duke car launch at the Low Sail International Circuit, Qatar, KTM providing the race kitted bike to the same specifications as the machine entered at Mugello, and shot with Dunlop racing slick tires. The performance changes include modified suspension, heavier duty triple clamps, upgraded brakes, and slightly changed ergonomics. The race kitted Super Duke car sat noticeably taller and, although I could still flat foot while stopped, it was a little bit of a stretch to do so. The engine was untouched, with only an acropovic full race exhaust to save some weight and help the engine breathe a bit more freely. The upgrades were an immediate and very noticeable improvement over the stock machine. As strongly as the stalker performed at Lozale, the race bike was at a completely different level in terms of handling stability and agility. A huge part of the change was down to the Dunlop racing slicks from the Metzeler Sportac M7 RR Street tires. The bike turned in dramatically quicker and with much more precision, of course, I was able to get on the throttle earlier and more aggressively coming out of the slow corners. The most dramatic improvement was to the SDR's agility and stability, especially entering and exiting corners. For example, in the transition through turn 8, from a right through a left over a slight crest, as the front becomes unweighted, the stalker would shake its head a little. In contrast, the race bike stayed planted, making it much easier to set up for the entrance to turn 9. Overall, the kitted Super Duke car felt noticeably much tauter and more precise than the stock machine, especially on corner entry and in transitions, and there was almost no head shake. Even when hard braking into turn 1, coming down from an indicated 160 mph, the bike felt more stable and didn't squirm at the bars, 